Understanding TypeScript Decorators Part 1 So a lot of people have asked me how decorators work in TypeScript and this is part 1 in which we are going to discuss about class decorators. If you have used Angular or Nest.js, you have already seen decorators. For example, Angular has this input decorator and also it has the component decorator which is used with every component class. It also has injectable decorator for injecting services. And similarly, if you have used Nest.js, you will see a lot of decorators like request, response, also controller and similar to angular they also have injectable for any services or classes for this example we are going to work with the class for example if we have this class shape and if we log a new shape which is the instance of the shape class this is how it would look you can see that we got this shape as an empty object now let's say we had a new property called id and we wanted to just create an id whenever there's a new shape created automatically using a decorator let's create a decorator called unique id and the way to use it with a class is just to put it on top of the class with this add sign then we are going to just create a function because guess what decorators are basically functions this function accepts the target function because this class itself is essentially a function which has not been called yet. And when you do this new shape, that function is called, which is a constructor function. So it gets the target. And in this example, for the unique ID, we are going to automatically override the constructor function. So first we'll create a variable in which we'll store the current prototype containing all the properties and the methods of this class. Then we are going to override the constructor function just like this. We are overriding the variable itself with a new function, which essentially creates the ID with this date.now.to string. And finally, we basically set back the prototype using the old prototype object. And in the end, we also need to return this target variable from this function. So this class gets up to date. Now, if I try to run this code, let's see what happens. There you go. You can see that we get an ID. And if I try to do the same thing again, a couple of times let's see what happens and you can see that we have got a new id generated for every shape that we created and that's how you implement a decorator for a class if you found this video useful share it and follow me for part two